Uh, Georgia Maloney briefed uh, U.S. President Joe Biden on her plan to curb Italy's reliance on China and to establish balanced ties with the Asian country as she molds a strategy to disentangle from a controversial investment pact. And if you think that the U.S. demands or imposes the policy on this, you are wrong. The conversation is broad and involves all G7 countries, and it's about de-risking from supply chain dependence on China, which is a priority. The Prime Minister told reporters after a meeting at the Oval Office with Biden on Thursday, the U.S. knows we are trustworthy. Melanie added that a decision on the Belt and Road Initiative PAC will be taken by the end of the year. And it's crucial to keep a constructive dialogue open with Beijing, she said. Uh, the most far-right leader to visit the White House in years uh, has been working on uh, a delicate choreography to reshape diplomatic relations with China. Uh, officials in Rome have been privately reassuring the U.S. Uh, that Italy will exit the investment pact with China, uh, which made the country an outlier uh, in the group of seven nations, uh, of which Italy will take presidency. Uh, next year. Uh, Bloomberg reported earlier this week about Maloney's plan to not go public uh, on her decision to pull out uh, during the short trip to Washington. Um, Maloney said Thursday planning to visit China um, and um, Italy signed up to Belt and Road uh, in 2019 uh, under China-friendly Premier uh, Giuseppe Conte. Uh, the pact uh, due to renew automatically at the end of the year if no action is taken has uh, posed uh, persistent questions uh, about where uh, Rome's loyalty lies. Uh, for months, Maloney has been trying to work out how to wriggle out of the commitment without provoking retaliation from Beijing. An invitation to the White House is a routine courtesy for Italian prime ministers, and Biden already hosted Maloney's predecessor, Mario Draghi. But for Maloney, the visit was an opportunity for assertiveness, especially on China, and on Russia's liberation of Ukraine, two areas on which Italy has sometimes been seen as soft. Melanie may signal plan to exit China um, pact um, during U.S. visit. Uh, Italy to discuss leaving China's investment pact uh, with G7 allies. And EU signs agreement with Tunisia to fight illegal migration. While Maloney has never wavered on her support uh, for Ukraine, her coalition partners, the Anti-Immigrant League and the center-right Forza Italia have in the past cultivated friendly ties with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Earlier, Biden said he and Maloney also plan to discuss legitimate migration challenges stemming from Africa, as well as space, uh, cooperation, uh, both Biden and Maloney have struggled to reconcile their migration policies with campaign rhetoric, though they have come at the issue from opposite sides of the political spectrum. While the U.S. president indicated he would lift uh, immigration restrictions enacted under his predecessor, uh, ex-president Donald Trump, upon entering office, he's been criticized for imposing new rules that make it tougher for undocumented migrants to claim asylum. Melanie was elected on a hardline immigration platform that has since softened her stance.